Hey y'all, so I want to share this weird dream that I had last night. And um, I don't know why I dreamt this. I'm not really led to share it. I just wanted to share it just because because I really thought it was really, really weird. And um, in the dream, Beyonce and Jay-Z were in the dream. I don't know why they were there, but there's one sister in Christ in particular who I recently met and we had a falling out. Now in the dream, um... When I saw her, I was just kind of like, oh, God, like her, you know, but she seemed really normal. Like she wasn't the way I remembered her to be because I thought she was crazy, you know, but she just looked really, really normal. You know, she was like, looked like some type of businesswoman. She just went about her day. She's like, oh, Brandy. She's like, hey, like, how are you doing? You know, speaking to me like really normal. And we were ourselves. So we were like being reconciled. It was really, really strange. And I literally felt I didn't feel it. I saw it. A spirit. But it was... There's many different types of spirits. The stuff that I see in dreams is really, really weird. Like, demons don't all look the same. The spirit that I saw was a spirit of jealousy. And I saw it like me and her were fine. Like, we were just perfect. Like, sisters in Christ. Like, being really, really nice. We were ourselves. Like, we were really cleansed. But when that spirit came on her, it was like... She noticed it. She was like... She did something like that. She's like, she said, I think a spirit of jealousy just, just came into me. It just jumped on me. And her whole demeanor towards me just changed. And um, it's so weird that that happened because that was actually the issue between me and her when I had met her. And me, a spirit came on to me. Mine looked different. The spirit that came on to me was like a dark... Um, <sighs> I really just cannot describe what they look like. I just remember just being like a dark, translucent figure. And those two spirits, like they were coming together to make me and her to stir up strife and division. And um, I said the same thing. I was like, I, was, I did the kind of that thing weird too, you know? And I was like, I was like, oh my God. Like and me and her just looking at each other like, you feel that, right? You you see what that is. And we're, yeah, but it was too late. It was like, we already started not bickering, but we could just feel like that resentment that I had towards her, it came back. And um, I think God showed me that to just show me that, that that was never really her that did that to you. That was a spirit the whole time. And um, she really is a nice person. I think that's why God showed me that. But I just, I'm, I'm thankful that he exposes things like that to me. Because you really don't know what takes place in the spirit room. When it comes to division and chaos and stuff like that, you get so mad at the person. And we already know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we, we don't have that program. So God had to show me in a dream like it really wasn't her. Literally. <laughs> I saw the spirit like come into her like, and she noticed it. She was like, whoa. <laughs> like what like she said I think a spirit of, she said I feel jealousy now like it's it was really weird but um anyway so we walked away from each other I was like that's so weird but uh so I was like feeling I don't know where I was I wasn't like a, the city yeah I was in the city I don't know where I was but I was like filling out all these different job applications and I was like calling to like check up on him and this one place in particular, I, I don't know what type of job it was. I was just kind of doing everything, like filling out anything. And um, the lady I spoke to on the phone, she told me to call back in like three or something more days or something. So I did. And I called back. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. We just hired somebody for that position and la da 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 da. And I was like, oh, it's like, oh, OK, well, you know, that's I said something. My personality was coming out. I forgot what I said, but yeah. She stopped. She kind of like paused on the phone and she was like, is this Brandy? I said, yes. So I was like, well, maybe she remembers me from calling a few days ago. <laughs> she was like, oh, she said, OK, I'm, I'm going to do something for you. Now, I, I can't remember what she said word for word in the dream, but she was basically saying things along the line of, I don't know what her position was at that job. She, I don't know if she's a part of the company. I don't know what she was doing, but she worked there. But she was like some type of witch. And she wasn't no ordinary witch. She was like a um, she had some connections to where she could get me elevated to the top if she wanted to. And I don't know why she showed favoritism to me, but she was just like, "Yeah, you'll be perfect for this." She was like, "We want you. Like we really, really like you, Brandy." And um, and I'm thinking, I'm like, 
But you just told me you already hired somebody. I was like, what is she talking about? So I don't know if she's going to get this person removed or just booted out somewhere. And I don't even think she was in a position to do that, but she had connections, like higher up connections. And she was like, oh, no, 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 this is what we're going to do. She said, go get the book. Go get the book that I uh, that I gave you. It was some book that I had got from that job that they wanted me to just kind of go through and look through. I don't know if it was um, a little pamphlet about the job or different positions or something, but I had the book. And I don't know if I was in my own place at that time or what, but... I remember I had a table and I went to go get the little pamphlet and um and um she's on the phone and she's talking to me and I'm, I'm hoping the whole time I'm just thinking I'm like who is this girl like why is she doing I, like I don't even think she's allowed to be doing this right now so she's like get the book and I got the little pamphlet and she was like so this is what we're gonna do and she started doing some weird witchcraft over the phone I so when I say witchcraft y'all have to understand this is not no ordinary rich she was like a hidden like, she was a part of some weird bloodline that nobody knows about. And I don't know why they were trying to get me. They were trying to, like, get a hold of me and get me engrafted into their little whatever was going on. <laughs> and um, she told me, she said, I'm going to show you how to get this position and how to get here. And there were, like, there was instructions in the pamphlet, I remember. And, but it was some weird hidden spiritual... um message behind the pamphlet I don't, I don't i didn't see it until i started talking to her and she's telling me this is how you're going to go about doing this this is how you're going to get elevated this is how you're going to get to the top she was she kept saying like we want you you'd be perfect for this she said you'd be perfect for this brady and i'm just like and you know before like i'm on the phone with the weird spiritual woman i'm just like i just thought it was an ordinary job i'm like okay like <laughs> whatever if you say so you know and um she kept talking to me about something that was in the pamphlet and she said, are you holding it? And I said, yes. And she started, she started saying something weird in the book pages in my lap. Mind you, we're on the phone. There's no way she could even see me or maybe she could. I don't know. They, the book pages started flipping to the, to the page where exactly what she was talking about. And I'm just like, what the heck is going on? I felt like I was on a sci-fi movie, <laughs> but, um, I was like, why is she telling me this? And I just kept thinking to myself, like, I knew I was a Christian. So I was like, don't you know that I'm going to go and tell everybody this? Like, why are y'all trying to manifest y'all y'all selves to me in this way? And um, it was like there was some hidden world we didn't know about. They were like weird people. They were human, but not human. And some people were human, but they were part of that bloodline. They had that blood in them. And then like some people were half human and half like, hybrid and she i don't know what it was about this girl i'm on the phone with her and i don't know why they chose me but she's like she trusted me enough to be telling me this stuff and I, I was getting enlightenment from what she was saying like that little bitty pamphlet about the job like in the natural you would think oh it's just a, it's just an ordinary job but i guess if they want you they'll take you further into like the secret spiritual aspect behind it and um she's just being really really nice to me and one thing i can tell you about those hybrids they make you feel like royalty. Like, I didn't even know this girl. And she was just like, oh, my God. Like, we would love to have you. She was just like, you'd be perfect. She just kept saying that. You'd be perfect, Brady. You'd be perfect. Okay, listen to me. This is what you're going to do. I need you to get the pamphlet. And I'm, I'm on the phone with her. And as she's talking, it's like through the phone, she's telepathically flipping the pages to what I should be reading. Like, that's how sci-fi it was. And um, something manifested in my room in my home, whatever, where I was at at that point. Um, I don't know if it was her or if it was just a regular spirit, but it was tied to her and what she was involved in. And um, she appeared to me. And at first she looked like a normal woman. She looked like she was Caucasian, but she's a little tan. And she had long, brown, beautiful hair. Her eyes were like a brown at first. But she's looking at me and she just kept looking at me. So I could recognize who she was. And I was like, I was like, oh, it's you, you know, I was like, okay. And she was like, she was like, we want you. Like, are you going to, like, are you going to join us? And I'm just kind of sitting there. Like, I was, I was like, I was a Christian. I was like, no, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Like they felt really, really nice. That's how deceptive those spirits are. I always wondered for the life of me, like, what is it about the Illuminati and this this doctrine that gets these people just so easily entangled into it? Like, how do you get that comfortable worshiping Satan? And I finally felt it for myself. They come off so nice. 
you would never even think a demon was evil the way that thing manifested to me. And it, it, it showed me its true nature. It looked like a reptile. So this side, look, it was a woman. She, she had a head like a woman. She had long hair like a woman would have. But her body, she had a long body, but it was like the body of like a mammal or like a, a reptile. Um, you, you know how Angelina Jolie looked in Beowulf, the animated movie? And how she looked before she turned into Angelina Jolie. That's what the, the thing looked like. So it was like morphing from a woman. It was a woman, but it was like a woman reptile. It was really weird. And she kept morphing in front of me. I was like, why are you showing me this? Like, I'm going to snitch on you. <laughs> this is what I kept thinking in her eyes. So she's looking at me. And she's like, um, she's speaking to me through her eyes. And she like wants me to join them. And she's telling me that she's going to like, she's giving me all these promises. Like, oh, we're going to, we're going to make you successful. We're going to elevate you. You know, we're going to give you all this stuff. Like, we'd love to have you. Like, they really wanted me. I felt like royalty. I was like, what do y'all want with me? <laughs> you know, and this is, this is so weird. Her eyes, they were, they did that little slit, like a reptile. And they turned blue. It wasn't like somebody, like the normal color of an iris it wasn't that kind of blue it looked like plastic blue like my fan look at my fan you that, that kind of blue right there that's what that's that's what her eyes turned into nobody's eyes looks like that like there you see how my eyes they have a you can see there's like a it looks like three-dimensional somewhat hers were not they just turned blue and she's just looking at me like this and she didn't budge that's how i knew she was a demon so, um, I remember I tried to say Jesus and I could not get Jesus out of my mouth. Like she was right in front of me and I was confronted with this she creature and they're trying to get me into like their little, I don't know, like what mysterious <laughs> hidden world we, there's something going on here we really don't know about, but they're trying to get me into it. And I kept trying to say like Jesus, like I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, but I couldn't speak. And I, all, I, all I could do was think it. And I'm like, well, usually when I have dreams like that and I think it, they go away. But this thing did not go away. She did not leave. It was like she didn't budge. She wasn't scared. She knew what I was trying to do. But she was really trying to convince me that she was there to be my friend. So, um, and so I finally got it out. I said, I looked at her. I said, you're going to bow down to the name of Jesus, you know. And, uh. She just kept, she did not move the whole time. She just kept looking at me like this. She didn't blink. She just kept sitting there. And you would think like this thing is evil is about to attack me any second. But she was still just kind of coming off really nice. Like wanting to show me your Jesus stuff is not working. And um, she told me that. She said, it's not going to work as I'm not human. I said, and I'm thinking like, well, that's all the more reason it should work. <laughs> because if you are a spirit and you are a demon, you know, all things were made through Jesus and he has sovereignty and authority over you regardless. But she did. I remember she told me that she said, it's not going to work. Whatever you're doing is not going to work because I'm not human. And I was like, um, and this is the weird part. It was really disgusting. I didn't understand this part at all. Her body, it was so long. She was coming through my toilet. And when I first looked at it, it was brown. So I thought it was really like a big, like, turd. I really did. And it, that's what it looked like. When I really looked, it was big. Like, I don't know. I was like, how does that even come through the toilet? Because it was so, like, huge. Like a tail. And um, when I looked at it, it, it was like a leopard cow print to it. But it was her skin. And they would go through my toilet and leave. And they would come back. And I was just like. I was like, what the hell? I was like, what is this? Like, what what are, what are you things? Like, are you a demon? Are you a, a reptile? Like, are you a person? And you just, I didn't know, I didn't know what they were, but they were coming to me and they were just trying to be like really, really nice to me. And um, I don't know how they got contact with me. I really was just trying to find a job. And the girl, I guess that's how you know, like they're everywhere. The people who are involved in that mess, they're, they look like normal people everyday people literally because this girl she i don't know if she's like a manager or what she's the one who told me to call back in three days to call back and when she knew who i was she's like oh you that's how she said it's just like oh brandy 
and she just started she was a part of whatever that stuff was but she had to live like a normal everyday life like normal people would do so and they were trying to get me and grafting in and i hope like i know that demons can try to come and get you to sign covenants with them in dreams and stuff like that that's not the first dream i've had like that but i'm hoping that that's not what happened in that dream because just the weird stuff that was going on with the book and everything but um that reptile lady didn't leave and um it was so weird like i felt so comfortable with them like they didn't feel evil i knew they were evil because i mean you just look at them like y'all are normal like that's not normal for you to be half human and half hybrid and half you know reptile but they seemed so like they wanted to make you feel like they were like you it just just didn't feel right and um so I, I I don't know what what that was about. Um, it's very weird. So anyway, <clears throat> I don't remember what happened after that. But Jay Z and Beyonce were in the dream. I don't know why they were there. I don't even remember what role or significance Beyonce played. Um, she was just I don't know. But there was something about Jay Z. I think I had like an iPad or something and there was a video about him like talking about how he was involved in secret societies and stuff and I, I went I walked to him to go show it to him. I don't know why I did that. It was I remember it was a reason why I did it, I just don't remember. And um every time I dream about Jay Z, he's just so arrogant. Like he's like the most rudest, arrogant, just jackass you could ever meet. Like he's just so like he looks he acts like he's better than you. He's really not. Like, every time I see him, I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, I don't want to deal with this jackass. But I remember I showed it to him, and he just started watching it. He was, like, talking to a couple girls around him. And he knew who I was, but he just – anytime I see Jay-Z in a dream, he knows who I am, but he just kind of – like, oh, she just a BS. You know, that's that's his attitude. So he watched, like, three minutes of it, and he gave it back to me. <sighs> I was like, whatever but I don't know why they were in the dream but I did dream that last night and I have no clue I don't I don't know <laughs> like y'all go ahead and comment and tell me what you think about that I, I didn't watch anything weird last night like I went to I actually went to sleep talking to Jesus and then I dreamt that Pray for me. <laughs> They're trying to come for me. I'm not refused. I will not subject. <laughs>